That's me. My father used to say, no todo lo que brilla es oro. The cheap translation, not everything is what it appears. I guess all along, I always knew that things would turn out this way. I just wasn't sure when. You always think to yourself that your luck will hold up. Just one more job, one more day. Will my luck just change? I guess I should introduce myself. My name is Antonio Marquez. I am Cuban. My mother and I came to this country when I was just a child. My father was killed during the invasion of the Bay of Pigs. Since the death of my father, I've had a lot of anger and hatred bottled up inside of me. You may say that this was what caused this chain reaction. A local businessman has hired me to take out a group of wannabe gangsters that have opened a drug house in a general area of his establishment. What's going on, Larissa? What you doing tonight? What's up, you trying to go to the movies or something? <coughs> he felt that it was hurting his business and wanted them out. I only took that job because they were known to sell that shit to miners. So, I shut them down. How many guys? Where are they? One sound, I might kill you. Talk to me. Tell me about those three keys. Right on the street is we should have that money by Friday. Who the fuck are you? I grew up in Miami, where I was constantly reminded of Fidel Castro and the death of my father. Most people don't grow up saying, 
I want to be an assassin. But for me, it wasn't a choice. It was my destiny. I killed for first time at the age of 16. I had joined an anti-Fidel Castro organization known as Cubanos Libres. The victim was an informant for Castro living in Miami. At that time, I didn't understand politics. I only knew that for a brief moment, I felt vindication over my father's death. It was an illusion. Shortly thereafter, I joined the Army Special Forces. It was there where I received my training in small arms and anti-terrorist tactics. I was recruited by the CIA a short time after. My mission was to eliminate enemy personnel, only to find out that there wasn't much difference between the man I was sent out to kill and the man that sent me. After my discharge from the military, I made my way to Philadelphia. The job market wasn't much good, and a high-paid job with my resume was an impossibility. I couldn't even explain my existence for the past 15 years. Something they require on a job application. Everything I had done was considered classified. So I went underground, became independent, a gun for hire. surprised how much work there is for a man with my skills. Make it fast. I don't know how much time we got. A rather large and well-known insurance company was tired of paying off on bogus arson fire, started by a local wise guy and wanted to put on ice. So, I ice him. Can I help you? My line of work business isn't handled in person or over a phone. It is done with a handshake and you don't sign contracts. Things are handled more discreetly. No one has ever seen my face or known my true identity. This is the way you stay alive and out of trouble. To them, I am simply known as Mr. X at Cybernet.com. That's right, 
All my work is handled over the internet, and never is a mark referred to by name or address. The words kill or eliminate are never used, but one knows what an employer of a hit refers to. It's a language invented by the CIA to avoid direct involvement and to escape prosecution. Money never changes hands. It's transferred from bank account to offshore account. Those never employer and employee understand one another. Double cross is never an option for either parties. The consequences are far too risky. Right about now you're asking yourself, then what went wrong? And client has sent me an email that reads, I respond to your application for the position of CEO to Tyler Industries. We regret to inform you that the position is not available at this time. My response is, well, thank you for your time. Please advise me if the position becomes available, I will check again in 75 days. So now I wait to see if the $75,000 has been transferred to my offshore account. I also know that the mark is the CEO of Tyler Industries. Excuse me, Angelina Delgado? Angelina Delgado? You're the driver? I'm supposed to have a limo here. Oh yes, but the last minute we have some changes. Well, can you help me with my bags, please? Yes, no problem. I am once again employed. So, who sent you out here from Tyler? What was your name again? My name is Antonio. Antonio. Angelina speaking. Look, I understand it's a lot of money, but I am not interested in selling my patent to you or to any other oil company. Is that clear? That is my final word. And by the way, how did you get this number? From now on, you need to go through the proper channels. You need to call either my lawyer or my secretary. Is that clear? Antonio, uh, so where is the limo driver? Just a little bit under the weather. And how long is this drive into uh, the city? How long do I have here? I've got a, got a few things I gotta take care of. It's not gonna last forever. Hi, Kathy. Hi, yes, it's me. Uh, can I... No, it, everything's okay. Well, they lost my bags. What's new? I'm gonna have to switch airlines. Can I speak with Tanya? Great, thank you. Hi, honey. It's Mama. Yes, I'll be home soon. How's everything? Did you eat your lunch? Okay, good girl. I'll call you later, okay? I don't have time to talk right now. I've got a lot of things going on, but I will call you later. You be good now. Be good for Kathy. Okay. Goodbye. I love you. Bye.
have killed two women before. I have killed two women. They before. were about to kill me. But they were about to this kill me. This wasn't my style. This wasn't my Why style. Why this woman? Why this woman? I had never questioned the target. I had never questioned the target. It was just a job. It was but this time, just a job. It was different. But this time, it was different. Had I developed a conscience? After my father was taken from me at such a young age, I knew I couldn't do the same to this little girl. I knew there had to be trouble. I need some information. So what do you got for me? Mm -hmm. Who's the mark? What about the employer? Petrox Oil. Ah. Petrox Oil? You know they're fourth on the Fortune 500 list? You know, you don't get in that position without sidestepping a few landmines and step on a few toes. These boys are trouble. Mm -hmm. I still work for the agency, but you've always been good to me. I'll do what I can. This was a mistake, and I knew it. You don't refuse an assignment once money has changed hands, but I was not about to kill an innocent woman. I had to take an unscheduled trip to Washington, D.C. to visit an old friend. Got what you want in the package. Apparently, the girl invented an electric car that can run for about a month without a recharge. That could put Petrox oil out of business. They're not gonna let that happen. They're not gonna stop until she's out of the picture. I just need one more last favor for you. You know, I can get killed just for talking to you. 
But what is it? An event. If something goes wrong, I need to know who are my replacements. I'll give you a call. Yeah, Marquez, I got what you want, but you're not going to like it. Hey, isn't that the girl? Yeah, that is her. You guys sit tight, all right? I'll be right out. Hey man, what you think about that Eagles game? Yeah, hopefully they don't make it. They suck this year, but... You can tell me about it, it, man. Angelina, come. It's over. Hey, where's Tony at? Isn't that the girl right there? Yep. Who's that guy with her? I don't know. You better get on their ass. Let's tell them. Oh, yes, sir. What the hell is going on? Who are those men out there? Those men work for Petrox Oil. Petrox Oil? How do you know so much about this? They are my replacements. Your replacements? For what? I was hired for killing. <gasps> then why didn't you? I'll explain to you later. Why are we stopping? Relax. Just relax. Let's do it. Antonio, please. Yes. You know what? I've had a really exhausting day. I need to freshen up. Okay. The bathroom is right there. Thank you. So, Antonio. Why didn't you kill me? I really need to know. Uh, when I was a kid, my father was killed, and I don't want that to happen to your daughter. So, where do we go from here now? 
Number one, you have to take your daughter a safe place. Where do you suggest we go? You both of you have to go out of the country. Out of the country? You're crazy. Angelina. And leave Tyler Angelina. in the streets. Everything Angelina. that I have worked for my whole life, I will not leave the country. Angelina, listen. You're dealing with Petrox Oil. They are the biggest oil company in the world. You're not going to rest until you're dead. Do you understand me? They're going to stop at nothing. If that means going through your daughter to get you, then that's what they'll do. Now I got something to take care of. I'm going to leave this gun. If anyone than myself come through that passageway, you shoot. You understand? Hey, he's on the move. Tell you what, you go in there after her. And I'm gonna go after her. I think I know exactly where he's going, okay? Okay. Well, give me a gun. A gun? For what? Well, what if she knows Kung Fu? Come on, get the fuck out of here. Go. Kathy, it's Angelina. Don't ask any questions. Get my daughter to a safe place immediately. As soon as you get to a look, no, not to my mother's house. Are you crazy? They'll recognize you there. Go somewhere where you will not be recognized. Anywhere. As soon as you get to the location, call me on my cell phone. Hurry. Hollywood makeup is amazing, isn't it? Who are you? I'm Mr. X. Isn't that what you're looking for? How did you know? We both, both work for the CIA. Only, I don't think you remember. During that time, I met this guy that worked in the computer department. As I recall, you didn't care for him. Peterson, the prick. <laughs> I guess that works in my favor. You really should have to gotten to know him better. He is the best hacker in the business. What if I ever shot you somewhere else? It's not your MO. You're too meticulous. With you, it's always the same. Two shots through the heart. I'm impressed. You actually took the time to study me. Don't be. 
I got my information from the prick. What about the girl? She know all about the head. So she's leaving the country. I had Peterson transfer the money they pay you to kill us into a fictitious account. Her name. They're gonna come after the girl. They're gonna come after you too. I think she will be okay. Pretty good. You had her dummy up like she's dead. You always were a clever bastard. I see. You study me too. You'll never get away with this. I think I will. You see, they don't know what I look like, what you look like. All they want are photos of bodies, anybody. I think I'll take that envelope now. Go to hell. You first. Yeah, like my father used to say, not everything is what it appears.